guys, I'm back again and we're going to be doing my August favorites. What? If you haven't seen my July favorites, go check it out. If you want to. Go check it out. Up first is Beauty and I'm going to be doing, oops, kick the tripod or the ironing board. Because I have to use my phone. Yeah, because I ain't got a camera yet. But anyway, it is this. The Miss Manga, Manga, Man, Manga, however you say that, look guys, I cannot pronounce it at all. Anyway, volumizing mascara, and this stuff's pretty good. I put it, I use this every day now, so, yeah. That's why it's in my favorites video, what? But, this is the brush. Seth already came down here. Oh, is that okay? No. I oh. restarted. <laughs> you restart? Yeah. He was banging on the door. She opened the door, you guys. It's cool. In a house of 12, you're going to get some people walking, walking down here in your room. I'm just saying. Anyway, yes, the mascara. This stuff. This is upside down. Whoopsie. But this stuff's really good. I love this stuff. Um, up next is this fresh picked lip balm from Bath and Body Works. And I got it on sale for four dollars. It is originally eight. It's a little pricey for lip balm, but if you don't want to like put lip gloss or something on, this will work because it's tinted. It is good. Um next. Uh, the Naked Basic Palette. What? I love this palette so much. And I will open it and let you guys see how much I use this thing. Because I think I use this more than any other YouTuber on here. Because, like, all my eyeshadows are, like, gone. Mostly. You see that? Look, look. You see that? But that's how much I use it. I use it a lot. And that's how I did my eyes today with this. If you want to see a video on how I did that, let me know in the description box. It wasn't really hard. I mean, I'm surprised I did it because... But when I wear glasses and I have light, light colored eyes, I can't do a lot of dramatic stuff like my sister could. She has brown eyes. So she can do like do like the big, like the bright purples and all that kind of stuff. I cannot. No. Um, blush. Nyx blush in the shade. If I can get it. Here you go. Apricot. It's really pretty. Hang on, I'll swatch it for you. You can kinda see it. Well, not really. You can see it on my cheeks. That's what I'm wearing on my cheeks. And look at my awful tan line. You see that? Because that normally sits like right there. That's a bad tan line. Anyway, NYX blush. Oh yes, gotta love the blush. Um, I don't know if this could be considered beauty, but I use it before I do my eye makeup because I have really sensitive eyes. And it's this Visine Multi Action Eye Allergy Relief, clinically proven to relieve itchy red allergy eyes. It works. That's what it looks like. So if you guys have sensitive eyes and you want to go get some of this, go get some. It's really good. I like it. Pretty good. Up next, nails. What? Number uno is, I got it all up in the camera. Whoops, my bad. Um, is this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in B-Girl. B girl, that's a weird name. B girl. Anyway, yeah, that's a weird name. Um, so this, and this lasts a really long time. This lasts up to about a two weeks, a week at the most. Two weeks at the most, no longer than that. If you don't really work with your hands a lot, it'll last longer. But I work with my hands a lot. I do laundry, and I'm like all the time bumping stuff, and I help cut grass and all this kind of stuff. So I'm doing a lot with my nails and hands. And this lasts pretty good through cutting grass and 
laundry and all this kind of stuff. It's pretty good. You should try it. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. And be sure to get the top coat. If you don't have the top coat, it will not work. No. And I talked about the top coat in my last my last favorites video. So if you want to hear about the top coat, go check out that video. My July favorites. Um, and this one. Little weedy bottle. It's so tiny. It is the Formula X from Sephora in flashy flashy that is the name and it is currently what I'm wearing and that's just two coats I bet if you did three coats it'd probably show up more but that's just two but this is it this is a little bottle it's from the 22 pack I got for Christmas Christmas last year my mom got it for me I love doing my nails I do them like every other day serious business you guys they were green yesterday and I changed it to this for church I'm kind of like Miss Glamorazzi when it comes to that. Let's move on. I could talk about nail polish through this whole video. Let's go. Next up is hair products. Okay. I have been currently just French braiding my hair at night and taking it out. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of fallen, but I like it. This is what it looks like. And I just do this to my bang because they're too short to French braid right now. But this is what it looks like. Less damage on your hair if you French braid it like that. These are the things I've been using. This is Suave Kids. This is actually my little sister's. And I took it from her little basket. She has all her hair stuff in. Because I was at a hairspray. And yeah. Because I didn't have none. But yes. So I've been currently using. This is Suave Kids. Light hold hairspray in coconut. It smells really good. I think it's funny that I'm using kids hairspray, but it works. So the products I use to get this to stay would be these two. So it's this one. And then this one. It's a uh, texturizing taffy. It smells good too. This is what it looks like. We're almost out. I need to get some more. That's what it looks like. Oh, it smells like candy, you guys. Okay. Up next is skincare. I don't know if this would be considered skincare, but deodorant. You're not going to have the deodorant. You don't want to walk around stinking. I mean, let's be honest. You don't want to walk around stinking. No, just no. So it's the Dove Go Fresh in Blue Fig and Orange Blossom Scent. So it just looks like this. And this stuff smells good. It smells good. I like it. It works pretty good too. Next up is this. Eucerin Eczema Relief stuff. And if you have eczema, this stuff works. And if you know anything else that works like really good, could you guys let me know in the description box below? Because I have it and I get these little patches on my arms and stuff. And my bangs are not wanting to stay. And uh, this, so far this is the only thing that I've found that helps. But if you know of anything else that works, let me know in the description. Or not the description box, the comment section. Down below. Please and thank you. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, up next is this face mask, which I recently just got because everybody's been raving about the charcoal and how it is, how it's good for your skin and everything. So this is the facial polishing mask, charcoal and black sugar, dull action purifying mask and smoothing exfoliation. This stuff works wonders on your face. Okay, see this? See, you see? That's just a mark now. It was a bump. And that was from the simple face wash that I used. Guys, if you have sensitive skin, do not get simple. That's what broke my face out. I wouldn't do it. I mean, you can test it because every skin type is different, but my, it didn't work for my face. Anyway, that's what that's from. So, yes, be careful with what skin stuff you try. But this got rid of it, like, within a day. I put it on there that night and it was gone the next morning. I'm like, whoa. This stuff's really good. 
So, try this out. And I'm almost out. I need to repurchase this so much. So, that's on the repurchase list, along with some hairspray. Um, what else? I gotta go out of camera for a second. Hang on, I'll be right back. All my other stuff was on the other side of the bed. I'm back, yay! Up next is fashion. Because I love fashion. First up is these little sunglasses. This is what they look like. And they just have this little stuff on the side. And these are actually from Walmart. Just $5. They're pretty good to be from Walmart. So if you need some sunglasses that are cheap, that work good, go to Walmart, you guys. Local Walmart. So, you never know. Up next are these shorts. And they're so bright and they're taking a lot away from my face. But these shorts, and they're monogrammed. My sister actually did them. Has my initials. Hannah Madison Bailey is what that stands for. Um, but yeah. Yes, that's what it stands for. And they're so comfortable, you guys. They really are. You should get some. And up next is this vest. Because, I mean, everybody knows you have to have a denim vest in your closet. Because if you don't have a denim vest, then you just need to go get a denim vest. Because I wear this thing all the time. I wear it to church, I wear it to Walmart, I wear it anywhere. But this is the brand. I got, I actually got it from Burks, and it was cheaper than what it normally would have been. My nose is itching, sorry guys. But yes, this. Love it. So if you don't have a denim vest, you should go get one. Okay, next up is books. And I'm not really a big book reader, unless it's the Hunger Games or something. But this is a devotional. And it is Over the Edge Youth Devotional. And it's by Kenneth and Gloria Cop Copeland. That's what it looks like. I love this book. I just read it every day. And I'm on day... I'm on the 28th. And it's... One Spiritual, one spiritual Do. If you don't mind, I'm going to read it to you. And it's, if we were to ask... If you were to ask... If you were asked to make a list of a hundred things you need to do to please God today, could you do it? You could do it, couldn't you? In fact, you probably know so many spiritual do's and don'ts that you hardly know where to start. But you can relax. I'm not going to suggest you make a list. Instead, I'll help you simp simp simplify. I cannot talk today, guys. Things by giving you only one spiritual do. Remain in Jesus. The one thing you, you're responsible for is your relationship with Him. If you keep a close relationship with Him, everything else will be right. But I'm facing some big problems. My life's so rushed, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I can't afford to spend time with God today. You can't afford not to. You need to keep your relationship with the Lord going, especially when things are tough. I know that's not always easy to do. It's tempting to spend more time trying to fix the problem. That's what Satan wants. That's the reason he sent the, that terrible, that trouble in the first place. To keep you from spending time with God. To draw your attention away from your relationship with him. Don't fall into Satan's trap. Instead, find ways to keep your thoughts on the Lord. Read your Bible and pray in the morning and evening. Put some scriptures on your bathroom mirror, in your locker, or in your backpack. Listen to some teaching teaching tapes or Christian music on your way to school. Just be creative and find ways to keep him in your mind. His word, when you do, you'll find it easier to remain in him and cut that terrible, cut that trouble down to size. And that was Miss Gloria, and it has some scriptures, and I will read them to you guys. The first one is, if anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. That is John 15, 6. So, it's really good. And then there's another one. I remain in Christ and he remains in me. That's John 15, 4. 
and then there's a couple other ones, and I'll link all, or I'll put all these in the description box, just in case you want to go and read them. I'm not pressuring you in the guys to reading any of these, but it could change your life. You never know. I mean, I don't know what you guys are going through, so just read them. It's, trust me, you'll like it. Then there's Philippians 3, uh, chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3 verse 1 through 11. And then it doesn't say it. You have to go read it. And then there's Proverbs 28 and 29 and Psalms 14. But this book is good, guys. If you don't have a devotional, I mean, I'm not saying you have to get one, but just like the thing says, just listen to some Christian music or some teaching tapes or something like that. Because I know if your life's rough right now, he's there. He's there to love you guys. Like, no matter what. He's there to love you because you were here for a purpose. You were put here for a purpose. You have a purpose. I promise. Whether it's in a career or in ministry or singing on your praise team or just helping out around at the church or helping more at your house. Anything you do is for Him. So, it's just... He loves you guys, as always. I know I said that a lot, but for real, he does. You were put here for a reason. You matter, and you just do. You were put here for a reason, and he loves you. You can't do nothing to make him love you less. I promise. Bye, guys. Oh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at tough underscore sparkle and Twitter at tough underscore, underscore sparkle. I cannot talk today. And... Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Ew, I hurt my skin. Be, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Click the thumbs up button and comment down below what you guys want to see next.